smile on her face because she's found a mushroom. There she is. She, I mean our lass. Oh, someone's already been. Somebody's already found a lot. Let's have a look, see if we can find some. So the mushrooms actually like to get in the Shannon Rells and the Penny Buns. Um, not been a very good season this season due to the uh, the weather. Been quite dry. I mean, it's been wet. It's been very wet. So a lot of them are soggy by the time it gets to them. To find a mushroom, you have to think like a mushroom. There's lots of spores, well, spores, uh, uh, juvenile mushrooms around, but hopefully get some wild blueberries as well. Put porridge for the morning. Ah, uh, you're right, Galea. There's, uh, there's a few that have been deadheaded up here, like. There's some stumps. Watch out for Blair Witch and Ewoks. So we're walking on one of the uh, walking trails at Kilda. There's a lot of walking trails in Kilda. Um, but we're going off the beaten track. We're going to make our own trails soon. Um, look at that, she's not happy. It's not an happy face. No, no mushroom. No, no mushroom. dead. That one they're looking for, darling. Right? So, we'll crack on. We shall avail to find the mushroom. Please enjoy the view. There's not really a lot to say, I'll show you really. It's just trees, grass, grass and trees. You've seen one tree, you've seen them all. It's a mixture of uh, trees. There's silver birch, there's oak. There's a... Uh... Yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> That's about as extensive as my tree knowledge is. Silver and birch. Silver birch tree, oak tree, sycamore, uh, conquer tree, horse chestnut tree, and Christmas tree trees. You see, are some berries, some raspberries, Ooh, nice raspberries there. They're right, they're ready to go. Get some oh. for porridge. So I've got my uh, hoodie on, I'm sweating. It's too warm. Got my uh, speed goats on, Solomon speed goats. The lady's wearing a Gap t-shirt with a North Face hat, hat, my trousers and some Carrymore walking boots. Looking very, very stylish today. Making a match. With a gimbal that you can't use. There's been some logging up here. That looks a bit of that is a bit of a boffy over there. Now these uh, paths you have to be careful because they're shared by uh, crazy downhill cyclists that know no fear and does uh, pedestrians and just trail runners. Right. 
And I think there'll be mushrooms in there. Okay. I think, aye, it's dark enough. All right, we'll see if I'm right. I'll come back. I've just found, I've just foraged. It's a, a Siamese penny bun. Isn't it, Bebs? Yeah. It's still took together. Twins. Twins. Wilson. Legs still hard. It's okay. Yeah, that's okay. When it goes soft, you have a problem. Isn't that right, Bebs? <laughs> She likes it. So I'm leaving on a little drive, um, just up road from a uh, from Kilda campsite. A uh, few about three and a half mile away is the borders, the Scottish borders, the borders with England. Welcome. Scotland. That's upside down and way around, isn't it? Welcome to Scotland. And down there, I don't know if you can see. Ah. Oh, that's me. <laughs> down there is the uh, is the border for England. Alice has gone there. It's got mushrooming, should I say. Not a bad little run up here, you just got to keep your eye out for logging wagons and don't use your headphones. Yeah, last time I was here, I ran. I ran there, uh, up to the borders. It's not been a bad day. We had like tea, our camping food, had a vegan steak and curried beans. So I'll see how we're off there in the morning. There's a public right away just over there. And up there is a big listing station, I think. No, you can't zoom in. Can he zoom in, man? Wait, you can just see it. I'll just wait your finger. It's just there. Is a listening station. I'll take a photo of it. Quite a few uh, motorbikes out and about. It's quite a nice evening tonight. It's still warm. There's not that many midges around just yet. There you go, England. Northumberland. And there's me, Specky Baldy. There you go, England backwards. Uh, all right, peeps. I shall leave it there for now. Back to the car, back to base. Have a good evening. We'll start the week's a good one. So here we are, up at Kilda Sky Space. It's uh, quite a bit of a trek, so we decided to take the car because there was a road, a road said sign saying come up this way. So it's uh, famous for its uh, natural light, oh, it was very echoey. Uh, you sit in the observatory, you look out there and you can see the Milky Way, you can see the stars, the solar system, the galaxies, you can see everything. Uh, it's supposed to be right good. You can see it at night time. <laughs> at night time, I know about it. Not the day time, the night time. Go, sky space. 
Another feature, it's quite famous up here for this guy's been. It's quite popular for tourists and, and such a like. Sky space. Sky space. Sky space. So, uh, we're going to get out of here now because uh, we don't think we're supposed to be up here. I think uh, mm -hmm. we get told off. How do you peeps? Here we are. Uh, Monday morning. Last morning killed the cars all packed, all ready to go. We're just going for a little bit of a bimble. I was going to go for a run today, but I had a crap night's sleep, so I'm not feeling it today, to be honest. Uh, a little twinge in my back as well from the air mattress. And that's all it's from. Um, so, I'll catch up with you later. Have a good day, peeps. Just uh, having a little walk around. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. This is me, the Rath Galea. Sorry to let all you ladies down. <laughs> I am taken. <laughs> <laughs> what, what? 